Hi, I'm Chrissy Brown, and I'm thrilled to be studying the Psalms with you in this new year of 2021. Happy New Year, everyone. Well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a longtime member of the First Congregational Church of Hamilton, beginning attending while I was at Gordon College, where I received a Bachelor of Science in Math and a Bible minor. Since marrying my college sweetheart in 1998, we have called FCCH our spiritual family. I have served in many different capacities over the years and have been the grateful recipient of amazing ministry provided by others at our church while we were starting and raising a family. Dan and I now have a 15-year-old daughter in high school, a 13-year-old son in middle school, and a nine-year-old in fourth grade, and she's almost 10. I currently serve on the women's ministry team under the care and wise leadership of our women's ministry director, Margot Rocks. I also help coordinate the Sunlight Tuesday morning Bible study. And I'd like to thank everyone who has pushed forward in continuing with studying God's word at Sunlight, Nightlight, and the impromptu groups that have popped up over the last year. We have all endured learning new technology, been faithful to connecting through massed outdoor gatherings, and forgone our lovely and oh so delicious potluck brunches, which I hope we can return to soon. Your continued commitment to each other through gathering in many capacities, discussing, applying, and praying God's word into each other's lives is what fills my heart with joy in this community of our Lord Jesus. If the teachers of our Bible study are its brain and you all are its hands and feet as you serve each other, then the table facilitators and shepherds are its beating heart. I want to give a grateful shout out to all of them past and present in all of our groups. You have kept us connected, encouraged us with emails and phone calls, and have embodied the love of Christ by exemplifying what it means to be a follower of Christ, studying and putting into practice his teachings. I learned so much from all of you, and I am truly blessed to be serving alongside of you. So thank you to all of you. Now to setting the stage for our new study in the book of Psalms. This poetic, heartfelt and praise filled book of songs is a comforting and real place to land when seeking to express our human experience. Many of the Psalms are attributed to King David and reflect the reactions, thoughts and events of the lives of the authors. If you'd like more information on the history, authorship, and significance of the Psalms, first of all, please read the introduction in your study guide. There are a lot of good things there. But also, if you would like to watch the Bible Project videos on YouTube, there are two available. And I will include a PDF with these links so that you can go find them. Or you can just go to YouTube and search for Bible Project Psalms. There's How to Read the Bible Psalms. Since it is a very different book and uses poetry, it takes a different way of learning from it than a, a historical book um, in the Bible. And there's also the overview of the Psalms. Please feel free to take a look and enjoy learning from all the hard work that they've put into these videos. I myself am newly intrigued by the fact that Jesus as a Jew grew up with the Psalms as his prayer book and hymnal not only as the author of life has Jesus received praise, adoration, and the lament of his creations through the words of the Psalms, but Christ Jesus himself, as he walked the earth, learned these words, sang the tunes, and prayed these prayers to his Father in heaven. If you haven't picked a devotional for 2021, I highly recommend The Songs of Jesus by Timothy Keller and his wife, Kathy Keller. These delve into the Psalms in a day-to-day -day devotional, and it's a good one. Today, I'll be taking us through Psalm 1 as we begin the study of Psalms, and I'm going to do it in a way where we reflect 
pause, take some time, ask ourselves some questions and go through a guided meditation. So I hope you can find a relaxing place Please keep a notebook and pen nearby as I'll be asking you some journaling questions. Feel free to pause the teaching in order to answer the question on your own before we move forward. Take the time to engage this scripture with the Lord. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this time to engage with your word. We pray that you would lead and guide us as we consider your words to us and as we consider our response to you. Holy Spirit, lead and guide us. Jesus, we thank you for your example. And Holy Father, we thank you for all that you've provided for us. So I'd like you to find a comfortable position. Feel free to close your eyes or to focus down into your lap as you just breathe deeply. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Thank you, Father God, for your loving care. Breathe out anxiety and fear. Breathe in. Thank you, Jesus, for your life, sacrifice, and victory over death. Breathe out self-sufficiency and pride. Breathe in. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for wisdom and guidance. Breathe out my ways, my plans I give to you. Continue to breathe deeply as I read through Psalm 1 in the New and International Version. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked, they are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. I'd like to read the first verse again, this time in the Passion Translation. And as I do, I ask you to ask the Lord to impress upon you a word to focus on. What delight comes to the one who follows God's ways? He won't step, he won't walk in step with the wicked, nor share the sinner's way, nor be found sitting in the scorner's seat. Focus on the word God has impressed upon you and ponder. Who are my companions along this leg of my life's journey? Lord, I confess I can follow the crowd and stay silent when I ought to speak your love in truth, your truth in love. Then there are those times where I speak up, but then am misunderstood, or I second guess the spirit with which I spoke. Forgive me, Lord. Consider who Am I listening to? Lord, I confess, I will listen to the old tapes playing in my head. 
the most recent self-help book or podcast, my closest friends and family, before I find my way to seeking your wisdom. Help me to find delight in your word and to follow your ways faithfully. Thank you that we not only have your law, your word, but also your Holy Spirit to enlighten our understanding, our understanding of your character and your purpose for us. 1 Corinthians 2.10 in the New Living Translation says, but it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit, for his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. And as we recently studied in the book of Proverbs, true wisdom comes from God. Proverbs 9.10 says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Lord, help us to be in tune with your Holy Spirit and to seek your wisdom above all else. Psalm 1 verse 2 in the New Living Translation, but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. Take some time to think about this question. Is my thought life pleasing to God? Lord, I confess all too often my mind is consumed with myself, my needs, my wants, my plans, my agenda, my to-do list, my pain, my injuries, my frustrations, the wrongs done to me, my response, my rights, and the list goes on. Help me to make your love and your actions on my behalf, my focus, my center, my horizon. Lord Jesus, your gift of life is so amazing, so wondrous. While I was still your enemy, you died for me. You made a way for me to be right with you. How can I hold a grudge when I have been forgiven such offense? How can I withhold a gift when I have been given the gift of eternal life? How can I require repayment when Jesus paid all for me? Psalm 1 verse 3 in the New Living Translation. They are like trees planted along the riverbank bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never, never wither and they prosper in all they do. Reflect on this. Do I recognize the blessings of the Lord in my life? I confess, Lord, I too quickly enjoy the many blessings of my life and push past them to seek more. Help me to slow down in my day, to perceive, to recognize, to appreciate, and to reflect on your gifts. Your gifts of salvation, provision for life, community, well-being, and good work to do. May the gratitude that results spill over into forgiving, encouraging, and loving all whom you have placed in my path. Help me when I seek more to seek more of you, not for the gifts, 
but for the joy of knowing and being known by my creator. Take some time to thank the Lord now. Psalm 1, verses 4 and 5 in the New Living Translation. But not so the wicked. They are like worthless chaff scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the godly. Consider this. Do I have compassion for the lost? Lord, I confess that I see too many of your creation which bears your image as other. And I separate myself, building myself up at the expense of those others. Help me, Lord, to break those walls of separation in my mind, my speech, and my actions to humbly admit that I too am broken and in need. Help me to seek reconciliation, relationship, and a renewed sense of belonging to your kingdom. May my assurance of security in your family cause me to share your work of salvation with all you bring into my path. If the Lord is bringing someone special to your mind. Please write those names down and pray for them now. Oh Lord, may they know your love and your salvation. Psalm 1 verse 6 concludes the psalm. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Reflect now on this. Do I eagerly seek? Do I eagerly seek out, diligently study, and tirelessly chase after God's righteous way? Lord, I confess that all too often I lay out my agenda and my to do list and seek you to bless it after it's all planned out. Then I try to complete it all in my own strength. Help me, Lord, instead to daily lay all I am, all you have made me to be and given to me before you to ask for your good plan step by step. I thank you that I can do all things through you and in you, looking to you to supply all that I need. Help me to remember to do this daily. I thank you, Lord, that I am righteous because of Christ's great work of love and salvation, which is complete. I can add nothing to it. May the works of my hands, the way that I walk in, and the words of my mouth be offerings of gratitude to the only wise God. I'd like to read Psalm 1 one last time, this time in the message translation, translation. How well God must like you. You don't hang out at Sin Saloon. You don't slink along dead end road. You don't go to smart mouth college. Instead, you thrill to God's word. You chew on scripture day and night. You're a tree replanted in Eden, bearing fresh fruit every month, never dropping a leaf, always in blossom. You're not at all like the wicked who were mere wind-blown dust, without defense in court, unfit company for innocent people. God charts the road you take. The road the wicked take is skid row. The message can sometimes be a little tongue in cheek, but it can bring new light to God's word 
and wake us up to his callings to us through his word. I pray that our guided meditation today has helped you hear from God, respond to God, and dig deeper into your relationship with him. As we close our time together, let's pray. Lord, help me to remember that the thoughts I think become the actions that I take and result in whom I glorify. May I be known as a woman who thinks on your word daily, serves others gladly, and glorifies you only. Amen. Thank you for joining me on this study of Psalm 1. I look forward to talking to you soon.